everybody, thank you very much for watching L Technology. Today we'll talk about something really special. Today we'll talk about HTC Vive, the real and actual virtual reality device. Now we're not talking about a device where you can put your phone. No, we're talking about a complete ecosystem with equipment and everything, but the result is fantastic. Believe me, I tried and I'm not even a fan of VR. Let's watch. <music> When you purchase HTC Vive, this is what you get in box. The HTC Vive itself. The two controllers. The base stations. Link box. USB cable and HDMI. Power adapters. So we have power adapters for the base station as well, chargers for the controllers, sync cable for the uh, base station, then you have the wall mount, and you have the extra face foam that replaced the current one that is already on the headset. Okay, before we start, of course you need the basic um, uh, requirements for the HTC Vive. That will be the computer or if you need to mount the base station or if you need to use a tripod. So the basic uh, recommended requirements for the computer is you need at least an uh, i5 processor, okay? And you need the uh, NVIDIA GeForce 1060 graphic card minimum or an AMD Radeon 480 minimum graphic cards. And then, of course, you need Steam. Okay, this is where you connect the power, okay? There are two ways on connecting the base station, B and C, wirelessly. That means you don't put the sync cable. Or A and B, where you need to put the sync cable. Okay, we can connect now the link box to the computer. Okay, you have the USB cable. Of course, you have to have the PC as well, PC side, USB. You have the HDMI. And you have the power, okay? We connect this to the computer. Then you connect the HTC Vive connectors as well. So you have the HDMI, USB, and power. Same thing. So now we install the software. Basically, we need the Steam. So we go to browser, htcvive.com. Then you go to setup and download, download Vive setup. Since I already have my uh, software installed, so I just go to Steam, open it. So it might take some time, so depending on your graphic cards, as well as your internet connection. Okay, now that we have Steam, the next thing we do is 
install Steam VR. So you go to Library Tools and you type Steam VR. Okay, so you have Steam VR. But since I've already installed it on my computer, so I don't have to do. So I just double click. And there you go. So you have your Steam VR running. Okay, of course you'll have your uh, headset. You have your base stations. Your controllers are still gray, so I have to pair it. So you right click, pair controllers. Then it, it asks you to hold and press these two buttons. So these are this and this button. So I hold and press. So now the second one, we pair the other controller. Okay, now we do the room setup. You have two options to do the room setup. Okay, you have the room scale and the standing position. Since we, we want the perfect experience for Vive, we do the room scale, okay? Okay, it, it will tell you every single thing that you need to do. So if you can see the animation, okay, you have to clear the space. Minimum requirements is at least two meters by 1.5 meters of space for the room scale. Next, now you have to establish tracking. You need to establish tracking, so make sure that the three uh, components are detected by the base station. Okay, so you have the headset and the two controllers. Now it will ask you to locate your monitor. Make sure that this is level. Then if your monitor is in front of you, you point the control at the monitor and press the trigger. Next thing to do is calibrate floor. So how to calibrate? You put the two controllers on the floor. Then make sure that your headset is level and then you calibrate floor. Next thing is we measure the space. Okay. So you have two options of measuring the space. One is you draw your space. Okay, let's do that. So you draw by holding the trigger. So you hold it, you draw your whole space now the second option is to do the advanced mode okay I believe it's much more easier because you just point on each corners okay so same thing you have to press the trigger on one corner first Second corner, third, and last, okay? And you have your space, okay? So we got a 2.8 by 1.7 meters of space. That's a great time. Thank you very much for showing us how to set up the Vive, sure. but I have a question. Okay. I wear glasses, and many do. Okay. Can I still use it? Sure, perfect. So we can actually adjust the headset, okay? You just pull these two corners, and then uh, turn it, and if you can see, this is moving, right? Yes. Okay, so you just move it according to the space between your the, the lens and your glasses, okay? Oh, so right. we select the three lines, okay? So there's three mm -hmm. lines, okay? And then we... Let's try it. Let's put it on. Let's tighten it. Yeah. How is it? Well, quite comfortable. Unexpectedly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, I want you to, to see if you're seeing the controllers yes i see the controllers can you get it well let's try come okay <laughs> yes. okay okay <laughs> see? To, for you to know what i'm actually seeing is floating controllers without seeing right now the best thing about vibe is of course safety mm -hmm. why if you can see if you go near the, the lines that we made a while ago do you oh, see the blue yes. lines yes i see the blue lines I okay go beyond. okay yes. it's called chaperon mm -hmm. okay so it guides you that okay you don't have to go past the lines Yes, because if okay. I go past the lines, I might hit something. Yes, of course. Yes. So if you can see, you'll see squares down up down. So that's your playing space. Yes. Okay, it was drawn earlier using the room scale. Nice, right? Yes. Very okay, nice. now let's try to play something. Okay, can you see your controllers? Yes. Or do change. you see one with the colors? Yes. Can you touch the colors and press? Press. The Any color. Oh, okay. Yes. Now, I got the now can you hit it with the other other hand? Right. Nice. Okay. <laughs> now select a different color like yellow. There you go and hit it. Nice. Okay. 
Now, can you press the, it says grip. Can you see that? Side buttons. There's a side buttons. Yeah. Can you turn the controller? Yes. See, there's a side buttons. Yeah. Can you press that? So you can see that you're pressing them and then you have the trigger. Yeah. Yeah, that's one. Yes. That's yes. The other one. Okay. Yeah. Now that you know how to use it, let's open an application for you to play. Just so you know, this is really awesome. I can see myself floating in um, a wide open space and these things are floating with me. So this is called Space Pirate Trainer. Okay, so you'll be like space pirate and shooting teams. Okay, so since we selected the front, mm -hmm. your monitor to be this side. Yeah. Okay, we pointed a while ago this side, right? Okay. So now you have to turn around, mm -hmm. and oh. that's your front. Okay. All right. Can you shoot ready to rock? Ready to, with the left or right side? Anywhere, we, you have two guns. Okay, okay gun. classic. Classic. And there you go, it will be showing up. Yeah. Should I shoot the... Oh. There, you have to shoot that. You have All two right. guns, remember, okay? Yeah. Nice. So you actually you can actually hold it only and then... Oh, yeah. You can actually, you can also change the... Oh, yeah. You can avoid oh. that. Go, move, 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 move. Oh, oh, there okay. you go. All right. <laughs> so you can move, okay? Right. So you can avoid the bullets. There you go. So you can move like that. So what were you seeing on the screen? Everything that I'm seeing? Yes, everything what you're doing and shooting, I'm yes. seeing it on the screen. And all this is developed by uh, HTC or third party? No, it's a third party developer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're the ga uh, game makers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so currently actually the one we have, uh, we have uh, from Ubisoft. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of games coming as well. And currently in the library, there's around 1,700 applications. Wow.